Bombshell, Jeff Sessions just stabbed Trump in the back. President Trump's supporters have grown increasingly weary of Attorney General Jeff Sessions' inaction on a myriad of issues, and it's easy to see why. First, the former Alabama senator recused himself from the Russian ordeal amid pressure from the left over ridiculous accusations of impropriety during the election. Then, he s stood idly by as bombshell revelation after bombshell revelation dropped about the FBI's total botching of the investigation into Hillary Clinton's illegal handling of classified information while Secretary of State. Now, another bombshell just dropped, and it appears as if President Trump's attorney general isn't he as loyal as he seems. According to a shocking report from Breitbart News. Not only has Sessions recused himself from Russia's alleged interference in the 2016 election, but he has also recused himself from investigating basically anything related to Hillary Clinton. Seriously. Check it out, emphasis mine. Attorney General Jeff Sessions told a small group of lawmakers in late September he was recused from appointing a special counsel to look into potential corruption surrounding the Uranium One deal and Fusion GPSS work on the Trump dossier, according to one of the lawmakers present. Rep. Matt Geetz, RFL, told Breitbart News on Wednesday that he and other House Judiciary Committee Republicans had met with Sessions at the Justice Department on September 28 in advance of an upcoming committee hearing with Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein later this month. Yeats said that when he asked Sessions to appoint a special counsel to investigate the 2010 Uranium One deal and Fusion GPS, the Attorney General stood up, said he could not discuss the matter because he had recused himself and walked out of the room, leaving them with a group of Rosenstein staffers who showed no interest. He said that anything that had to do with 2016 election, or Russia, or the candidates in the 2016 election, fell under the scope of his recusal, and he left the room, Geetz said. It was Sessions' position that his recusal on the Russia matter divorced him from any oversight on Uranium One and Fusion GPS. That's troubling. Sessions' recusal is a function of his involvement in the Trump campaign. In no world does that impact his judgment as it relates to Fusion GPS and Uranium One. But he views the recusal more broadly. That is troubling because that puts Rosenstein in charge, he said. Keep in mind, Rosenstein was heavily involved with the Uranium One deal and subsequent cover-up, which in itself should be enough of a conflict of interest for him to step down from the matter. That has not to mention, Rosenstein worked with special counsel Robert Mueller at the time it all went down, meaning that two of the people partially responsible for the deal are now tasked with investigating all things Russia, and they redoing so without any oversight whatsoever. This morning, President Trump went on a Twitter rampage calling out the FBI and Justice Department for their inaction related to the corruption from Democrats. Everybody is asking why the Justice Department, and FBI, isn't he looking into all of the dishonesty going on with crooked Hillary and the Dems? New Donna B. Book says she paid for and stole the Dem primary. What about the deleted emails, Uranium, Podesta, the server, plus, plus? People are angry. At some point the Justice Department, and the FBI, must do what is right and proper. The American public deserves an exclamation mark the real story on collusion is in Donna B.'s new book. Crooked Hillary bought the DNC and then stole the Democratic primary from Crazy Bernie. Pocahontas just stated that the Democrats, lead by the legendary Crooked Hillary Clinton, rigged the primaries. Let's go FBI and Justice Department. In the past, when President Trump has been so critical of people within his cabinet, it meant their days were numbered. After the bombshell revelation from Briet Bart, it seems as if he'd be well within his rights to let A.G. Sessions go. Go.